You probably can't see me right now, but hopefully you can hear me. Today's video is about audio. It's gonna be an audio video today. What I'm gonna to cover today is the Comica WM300 dual lav mic system. So right now I'm gonna wave so you can see where I'm at. I'm at 400 feet away from the receiver. And so as you can tell already, the distance is amazing when you have line of sight. Now we're gonna talk about that in just a little bit. So let's check out this dual lav mic system from Comica. But I just wanted to compare the audio quality between the Rode Video Mic and the Rode Video Micro and the Comica today. So here is the audio with the Rode Video Micro. Uh, very inexpensive microphone. I think it's like $60, maybe even $50 right now. And I'm about four feet away from the camera, from the microphone. And so again, I do have the dead cat on there. It's pretty breezy today. And we'll see if there's any wind noise and we'll compare it to the Rode Video Mic. And next I'm going to use the Comica. And here is the Comica WM300 dual lav mic system. I do have it connected right here. And I have my audio technician right over there. Go ahead and say something. Hi. <laughs> so we do have the dual system hooked up right now. Obviously my back is blocking the wind and so that's a big part of it. Um, but also having it closer to your mouth rather than you know a few feet away is gonna help with any ambient noise and things like that. And so this is the benefit of having a lav mic system, of having a wireless system, because you're able to move around, you're able to do things. And this is really important for me as I do my drone videos, because sometimes if I'm over there, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 feet away, I wanna be able to talk to the camera and not have to come over here and talk right to the camera. And so that's why I'm looking at a wireless system like this. Um, so far, I'm pretty impressed with this. I'm very impressed with the range. And like I said, you're not gonna go that far away uh, when you're using this system, but there might be occasions where you're 100 feet away and you wanna know that that signal is gonna stay uh, with your camera. So one more test I wanna do right now, both my audio technician, my audio yes. engineer is gonna come with me. We're gonna go on a little walk and we're gonna see how this works uh, using both microphones and see what the range is using both transmitters because I know that some systems have trouble uh, when you get far away when you have both systems running at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're just gonna walk away and we're not gonna be able to tell if the audio is cutting out because right now um, he has his headphones on and he's monitoring the raw audio. Sounds pretty good, right? Yes. Yes, so it sounds good, but uh, we won't be able to monitor it. So I won't know when it's cutting out until we get back uh, into the studio and start editing. So let's go ahead and go for a walk, bud. You okay, so do This it. is an awesome light, by the way. If you guys are looking for portable, affordable, Portable, affordable, portable light. Uh, the Aperture uh, Emron. This thing is awesome. So anyway, let's go for a walk. Wait, so do you take all this off? So you take this off, take the headphones off, buddy, and then you just put this in your pocket. Oh. All right, so let's take a walk. All right, so we are now 100 feet away. Go ahead and say something, buddy. Uh, check, zit. Check, zit, zit. Check, all right. 100 feet away, dual lav mic system. We're seeing if there's any cutting out of the audio with both lav mics hooked up. Let's go ahead and go another 50 feet. All right, go ahead and turn around. We are now at 150 feet away. Go ahead and talk. Uh, I don't know. Wow, that's profound. Who's what the greatest is... football team of all time? Oh, the Vikings. All right, right on. Go Vikes. Yeah, All right, gonna uh, 150 people. feet away. I don't think we're gonna check it any further than this because obviously not too many people are gonna use it farther away. Let's go ahead and turn around and we're just gonna go ahead and talk a little bit right now. And we're gonna show the greatest football player. The greatest football player of all time. Yes. Right there, number 14 for the Vikings, Stefan yeah. Diggs. Now, uh, so the microphones are being blocked by our bodies. Hopefully it's not cutting out. And also we're facing the wind right now. And so there might be a little bit of wind noise. Hopefully these little dead cats are doing their job. Um, but uh, I think we should be okay. Let's go ahead and turn around again. One more time, say something to the camera. Um, wait, can I say like, comment down below your favorite football team? <laughs> yeah, sure. You okay. just said it, all right? Comment yeah. down below your favorite football team. All right, let's go ahead and walk ahead here. Now, again, you're not gonna use this system that far away. Um, obviously, this is kind of a system you're gonna use both microphones, both transmitters. When you're doing things like interviews or maybe like a documentary type situation, but you know, most people are gonna use this for those, for those things. The majority of the time, you're gonna be using the system from no further than this far away. 
And, uh, and so knowing that it can reach that far, knowing it, it can go 400 feet uh, with one microphone, maybe with two, we're not gonna check it out, but I did get 400 feet using one and we got to 150 feet um, using two. two. So go ahead and my audio engineer is gonna hook up his headphones again yes. and uh, monitor the rest of this video. How's it sound? Does it sound pretty good? Yes. All right, so that is another thing that's really cool about this is having that input jack for the headphones. So you're able to monitor your raw audio. You'll be able to tell if you're peaking, you know, if it's too high or maybe if it needs to be turned up a little bit. And so that is very cool. Having the threaded um, 3.5 millimeter jacks, that is really important too because there's a lot of time you're gonna be moving around. The build quality of these microphones is amazing. It's heavy metal, heavy metal. I think for what you're paying, this is a great system. Now it's a little bit higher than most people are gonna pay for single use, but if you're looking for a dual system, something with two transmitters where you're doing interviews and things like that, I think this is a great option for you. Now, as far as negatives for this system, I would say a couple of things. Number one, it's maybe a little bit too expensive for the average person, but if you're looking for a dual system, something where you're gonna need it to use it for interviews, I think you're not gonna find this quality at this price. And then the other thing is the audio quality is a little bit muffled. It sounds like the audio maybe is a little bit muffled. And so it's gonna take some editing and post-production, but that, that's actually an easy fix in Adobe Premiere Pro by using the vocal enhancer and messing with the frequencies just a little bit. I think you can fix that shortcoming. Otherwise, I don't think you'll be disappointed overall if you invest in the WM300. If you got anything of value out of this, please click on that thumbs up button on your way out. If you have any questions about this system, let me know in the comments. Also comment your favorite football team. Just don't please put the Green Bay Packers. We really, I really won't allow that. I'll probably have to block you if you put the Packers. No, I wouldn't do that. But comment your favorite football team just as my son requested. I do wanna thank you for watching today. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.